Toy Story fans, Toy Insanity here, and this is Toy Story Tuesday. Toy Insanity and beyond. So check it out, I'm wrapping up what is current for the Toy Story 4, basically the rebooted Mattel Minis. So we got these four vehicle packs, Woody and RV. And it is the same Woody. Now check my Toy Story playlist. I did the whole blind bag mini series. I gave you the pack code so you don't have to get duplicates. But I did the other Woody with RV. It's Woody, RV, Jesse, and a different Forky in another vehicle pack. It's the same RV, different Woody. Buzz, this is a complete re-release from when they did these a couple years ago. Although, it is the only re-release, because if you remember before we had, what did we have? We had this, we had Woody, we had two Woodies then, we had Woody with RC, not RV, and we had Woody with the train, and then we had the alien with the Pizza Planet truck. Now we also get Duke Kaboom and Stunt Bike, Bo Peep, and the Skunk Mobile. And then I got the big playset, which I guess you can consider a storage container as well for the series. Features exclusive Star Adventurer Buzz Lightyear. Star Adventurer playset. Now, let's see what's unique and what is the same. This container is the aforementioned RV with... Woody, Jesse, and Forky. It's the 12 from the blind bags that aren't really blind because they're coated. Check my playlist. And it's the 10 pack all in here. And you can see so far a lot of double ups because Yo Gabby Gabby is in the 10 pack and the blind bags. Ducky and Bunny. 10 pack and blind bags. Slappy, what's his name? Benson, 10 pack and blind bags. Duke Kaboom, 10 pack and blind bags. Bo Peep, 10 pack and blind bags. Now, what's unique to that 10 pack, the reason you really want to get it is for Tenny, and they point out that Tenny is exclusive to that 10 pack, but also so far, is the three-headed mutant sheep. So as far as I know, uh, my expectation is they're anticipating this in the second series of blind bags. That's why they didn't point it out as being exclusive to that 10-pack. But currently, that's the only way to get the three-headed mutant sheep. Now, the Woody and the Buzz are different compared to the 10-pack and the blind bags. So there's the first two Buzz Lightyears, and we're going to have four unique Buzz Lightyears by the end of this video. Now what kind of sucks is that they could have done a different Woody. So the Woody in the 10-pack and the blind bags, these are different, and we're going to get our third Woody today. But then... Like I said, the guy in the other RV pack, the other Woody Pride, is a duplicate. But it gets worse, so let's start with that. Duke Kaboom, in his stunt bike, is the same freaking Duke Kaboom in the other two pack, in the 10 pack and the blind bags. Why couldn't they have just painted his suit different? They could have done white on red. They could have given one a slightly different cape. Uh, but, if you do like the vehicles, this is the only way to get the vehicle. His stunt bike. And of course, if you look at the pack codes, you can always skip the blind bag pack with Duke Kaboom. Continuing uh, the egregiousness. Bo Peep in the blind bags. Bo Peep 
in the 10 pack and Bo Peep in the Skunk Mobile pack. Exactly the same. All they had to do was paint her outfit different. And look at the one in my Skunk Mobile pack. Look at all the damage on the hairline. Horrible. But it was the only Skunk Mobile pack in the store. I think that, that well, this is definitely short packed among the case. So I think you get Buzz three times in the case. You get the other two twice. So you get the Woody and RV and Duke Kaboom twice in the case. And then you get, and Skunk Mobile Bo Peep would only be in the case one time. These are not pullback racers. They just roll. So Buzz again. Uh, this was released a couple years ago. You could get it at Toys R Us. So so far with the reboot, we got. Smiling Buzz, Smirking Buzz, Riding the Spaceship Buzz, I believe honestly when this first came out it had articulated arms. I may be wrong, it definitely had the articulated neck. I think it had articulated arms as well, at least some of them did, these two do not. And then the Buzz from, let me go and grab this. The Buzz in the Star Adventurer playset. He's got his wings outstretched, and there's going to be a little you could spin Buzz on this platform with a little gun. It's four Buzzes for 2019. And they had a chance to do four Woodies, but they doubled up this one makes no sense. It's kind of an open mouth smile, closed mouth smile, and this I think they used to call Sheriff Woody. The RV is identical. They also, since they were going to do two RV packs, they could have made some slight variations to that too. Here is our third unique buzz of the year. And why didn't they do a fourth unique buzz? We could have four. I'm saying it wrong anyway. Why didn't they do a fourth unique Woody Pride? We could have four Woodies and four different buzzes right now already. Makes no sense. But of course, the point of that other RV pack. It wasn't for Bu it wasn't for Woody, it wasn't for Jesse, it wasn't for this vehicle. It is how you get the worried or anxious or frightened Forky. This Forky, of course, comes in the blind packs. Check the playlist so you get the code and you know how to get Forky right away every time. Now if you permit me, I'm gonna do a pause here. And then I'm going to take this guy out and go ahead, put some figures on it like this. And then you can decide, holds 15 plus mini figures. You can decide if that's something you want to get. It's $20 at Target. I saw it for $25 at Barnes & Noble. But I'll go ahead and put some figures on there and see what that's all about. BRB. And I'm back. Toy Insanity, Toy Story Tuesday, and I gotta tell you, this Grand Basin Days Festival of Celebration 22nd Annual Playset, also called Buzz Lightyear Star Adventurer Playset, this thing is awful. First of all, I wanted to, I wanted to set it up like, uh, you know, just like the artwork here. Could not do that because Little McGiggles has not been released yet. Slinky Dog has not been re-released yet. Trixie has not been re-released. So I put Rex in her place. I didn't have an extra of any one, you know, without doubling up the character to put anything in that place. So I just got Tinny, Forky, 
Ducky and Bunny up there as the prizes. We got the exclusive buzz down here, the mutant sheep, Bo Peep, and the Sheriff Woody, which we just got on the bottom. I'll tell you that Bo Peep does not want to stand up. Over here is like the artwork with Benson, Jesse, and Duke Kaboom. I wonder if Buzz is going to get jealous that Jesse's hanging out with Duke Kaboom. What's up with that? And over here, I'll tell you two, two th reasons why this is horrible. The swivel, you know, the hinge right here, you cannot lock it into place for your display. So it constantly swings. This is an elevated platform. So the it resting on the table, it won't even rest on the table to temporarily hold it in place. It constantly swings. I spent about half an hour out here just to get this little bit of a setup. So there's, that hinge is constantly swinging. I had to stuff some crap under each wing just to, just to temporarily hold it in place so I could put these figures on here. Horrible design. They needed a way for it to lock into place. It would have been a simple modification to the design. Or I don't even know. I don't know why the platform. I, you know, the platform is not really necessary. They're trying to make it look like rocket engines. But it, they need. It would have been a simple little mechanism on the back of the outside to lock it open. So you create your display. Or I guess you could extend it. You could have something that extended down on each wing. So the next reason it's horrible is little plant hopper here. Is this Ferris wheel design? So I had to finagle something under there to lock it in place. But you can't put figures in it without them falling out. The individual seats don't lock into place either. So every time I put something in here, I mean, this, this, there's no play, there's no play value to having a spin like that. It needed just like a click mechanism, click, 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 click. I mean, you can't put something in that without it flying out or falling out. Also, you know, if you're interested, on the artwork it shows red, blue, yellow. It's definitely orange, blue, yellow, and they're also not clipped in the same way as this. So, the, you know, this would show blue is up here. Then it would have been the red, and the yellow would be that one. But look at this. This thing is just nutty. The only advantage, and this is how they always get you, with all, among all these different little toys, and all the double-ups they made, and again, why? Why is this, three different ways to get this guy, and they could have just made three variants. And, you know, I'm really mad about them not doing four woodies, but spend $20 on this to get the exclusive buzz. Again, horrible play value on this thing. Ugh. And then there's, uh, I didn't clip them on, but there's two little wings to clip on the outside. Oh my gosh, that will make it not swing as much, huh? It'll still swing forward, but it won't swing backwards. That's good to know. That'll, that'll put a stock a stop point on the backward swing, but it's still going to swing forward. I just, I just hate this. I'm giving it to charity. So that's that, and that's that, and I'm Toy Insanity. Thank you for the upvote, and I'll see you next Tuesday with some more Toy Story toys. Take care. Also, hey, Toy Story Tuesday, check the new trailer. Official trailer from Disney Pixar drops today. You know, Toy Story Official has caught on to the idea of making a Toy Story Tuesday.
I gotta clean this mess up and get out of here. But thanks for watching this video. Thanks for the thumbs up. Take care.